Hi, this is Dr. Scott Young, and today we're going to talk about um, income taxes. Where do they go? <coughs> so uh, we're going to kind of finalize this from some of the other ones that you've heard. So where do income taxes go? Now, there, you know that there's federal income taxes and there's state income taxes. So federal income taxes and state, same stuff. You know, some <clears throat> some state income taxes don't, I mean, some of them don't even have any state income taxes. It's kind of confusing. <clears throat> now, do we think that some of them, I mean, all of them will go away? Yes. Um, the federal ones absolutely will go away. But what will happen with this is they all go to these you know, these pet projects. Okay. They all go to the pet projects. Now, the reality is that you have to understand is that states get funded by income tax and excise taxes. And um, by, uh, for instance, <clears throat> when you have um, uh, license plates and other things that they do inside the states, that's how they actually get funded. So there's a lot of other things. They don't really get funded by the income taxes. And that's what most people don't realize. They don't really pay for the same stuff. Now, one of the things that happens that when money comes into the income tax, the first amount of that goes in, well, first off, income tax comes in, it pays in, goes out to the treasury a little bit. And when that money goes out to the Fed, the Fed pays that first amount of it. The 6% has to be paid out to the, the bankers and the Queen of England. And this is the sickest part of the systems. When you have to pay to the privacy of this, this is actually written into the policies of this whole thing. This is the sickness of this, this thing. This is a private circumstance. And when you realize <coughs> that inside, <coughs> excuse me, when you realize inside of the Nasara situation, they want it to be legal. And inside of the 14th Amendment under the third section, it stipulates directly that if you are trying to pay something or you have to pay something that is from a foreign entity, you don't have to pay for it, which is directly to anything. And it was meant to be for central banking. Well, there you go. You don't have to pay anything like this. And that's what they're trying to do. This is why we have this, this situation. So you're not going to ever have to deal with this ever again. That's why the IRS is such a sick entity. It was never meant through the 16th Amendment. It was never meant to be a, uh, a long-term issue. Um, it's been supported by the court systems. They were never meant to be what they, what they are. And they... Never, um, when, when you look at, at what that money goes to, it's never really looked at. So, guys, we struggle with this all the time. People say you should pay your taxes. You know, one of the things that I hear all the time, and there's a, <clears throat> there's, there's a mental ethos statement, you can only trust in death and taxes that, that um, people want to push out there. Well, guess what? Um, taxes, and they're, they're really meaning income taxes. And that's the kind of stuff that we need to kill off in our mentality, is that, that type of statement of the income taxes going away. See, sales tax, there is nothing wrong with sales tax. And, and we are going to have to pay sales tax, okay? There's going to be the sales tax that happens in, in city council or city, county, and state sales tax. And as I've explained before, there is going to be a uh, national sales tax, a 14% national sales tax. And I've explained that in other ones before. So, you know, don't worry about that stuff, guys. That's only going to be for new items, okay? 
But the income tax, the IRS, the way that they're constructed, none of that stuff is going to happen. They're all going to be deleted. So I hope that helps you out with that. So if you like us, us, please like, subscribe, share this with your friends. Thanks so much.